If you like these sort of discussions, make sure you tune into the Natural Galant Bodybuilding Podcast on Patreon. I am there every week. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Galant Bodybuilding. Mountain. And today I'm going to talk to you about a technique that was mentioned in the comments by one guy, and it's Vince Garanda. I guess you could say it's a type of hypertrophy training, but I'm going to say that it's probably a type of training to be more specific that targets the slow twitch fibers or targets the endurance fibers and at the same time targets glycogen and fat burning more than creatine ATP. Now, how this technique works and how this person talked about it in the comments was that it's eight sets of eight, but you're only doing about 15 to 20 seconds rest in between sets. So that tells me automatically that if you're getting eight sets of eight, that you're gonna be starting with a weight that you could easily do about 20 to 25 reps with, if not more or less, depending on how you're built in and your own individual constitution. But the whole point of it is to continually do sets without letting the creatine supply replenish. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means you're going to use the muscle fibers or the muscles or the parts of the system that are more fueled by glycogen and fat and less by the creatine. Now, the plus of this is that you're going to specifically target slow twitch fibers and some of those fibers might be uh, not necessarily getting activated during some of your sets, not fully, right? Uh, and at the same time, you're also going to be burning energy from a different source. So the argument that some people say is that this will help people burn fat or at least burn a little bit more glycogen off than usual because of the constant movement and you're not allowing the creatine to replenish. I don't know if that's true or not. I never really felt called to use this technique. Although from time to time, I have done lighter weight sets where I go all the way to failure, then I only take 20 or 30 seconds rest and then I go all the way to failure. I do that four or five sets in a row, but I'm very conscious of the fact that I'm hitting my endurance fibers when I do that and I'm not necessarily hitting the fast twitch. Now, ideally as a bodybuilder, you want to hit all the fibers, not, not necessarily in one workout, but you do want to move from one fiber type to the next. Uh, and maybe you concentrate on fast switch fibers one workout, or you concentrate on uh, maybe the strength endurance fibers or straight out endurance in another workout. But you're trying to hit all these different fibers and see which one gives you the greatest bang for your buck. Now, the whole point of the eight sets of eight and not going to failure is I do believe that what Vince was trying to do is just activate the metabolic system, meaning get that blood flow going, not really hitting muscular failure, but what you're doing is almost a glorified type of cardio workout where the intensity is not so high that you start to muscularly fatigue, but at the same time, you're constantly burning energy, which is why I think he recommended about three to four exercises of eight sets of eight. So. The problem I have with uh, sometimes the comments that are made, this guy made a comment saying, it's the best technique ever, it's the way you should train, and this is how I put on muscle. I'd say, if you're putting on muscle like this, uh, I'd say anything you do is probably gonna help you put on muscle for the most part. And, and at the same time, I'm gonna say is that maybe you're a slow twitch fiber dominant person, and somehow this is helping you access that too. So in the end, I don't really care uh, as far as what works for you. It's just a matter of what works, just do it. But what I'm here to do is to say, don't get too stuck in just one way of perceiving something because sometimes there are reasons why something is working that are not necessarily obvious at the time. But if you're not stuck in only doing one thing and, and when you hit a plateau, you're open enough to start trying another technique, you may start to see the truth that threads through all the techniques that led you to the increase in muscle mass. So in my opinion, I think this might be a good technique for people who do not want to use heavy weight and want to give the muscle a little bit of a break from going to absolute high intensity failure and at the same time, get a really good blood flow type of workout as far as get that cardio system going, get the blood flowing, burn some calories and remind the body of the grooves. But at the same time, you're not necessarily challenging it with heavy weights, so you're giving the joints a rest and you're not necessarily burning it out uh, from a creatine pathway, so you're giving that energetic pathway a rest as well. So this could be something that you could do, especially if you're trying to lose body fat too. Perhaps this would help you 
burn off a little bit more calories and glycogen because you're never really giving the body a rest and you're doing uh, more of a cardio type of oriented weight training workout. Almost like circuit training in a way. It's, it's almost like circuit training and in this way you may burn some fat but at the same time you're not just sitting on a bike uh, riding and staring at the wall. You know what I'm saying? So, so maybe this could be a way of doing that. And at the same time, you could be getting some sort of slow twitch fiber benefit as well, because by the time the seventh and eighth set come around, you are going to be hitting obviously closer to failure, if not failure on the last set. So yeah, uh, I think it's worthwhile experimenting with, but it's definitely one of those things that you would put in your lightweight type training toolbox or your endurance fiber type training toolbox. And you would still do your heavier type training on other days or other weeks of your training depending on how your uh, periodization is working out, right? So maybe you're doing three weeks of strength training or heavier rep ranges from like six to 20 and then you go to lightweight type techniques for two or three weeks and maybe you're doing uh, this type of stuff or maybe uh, just high rep sets in other cases and stuff. So, so yeah, that's how I would work it out is I would actually put this in a day where I feel like going lighter and uh, maybe doing lots of volume, but just getting that blood flow, just, just stimulating the metabolism. So this could be something positive from that aspect. Uh, we could call it maybe metabolic bodybuilding. Perhaps there's a metabolic response that will then help your healing from other workouts where there is more rest in between sets. You know, so there's something to be said for that, right? Because we know that some types of cardio do help blood flow and actually help the metabolism heal because once the metabolism's running right, then your healing also uh, runs much more efficiently. So yeah, that's, that's what I have to say about that. So yeah, that's the Vince Garanda 8x8 training. And uh, that's my opinion about that. But yeah, feel free to try it out and see what works for you and see what you like and what, uh, what happens. Mountain. So thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Natural land.